The picture begins with Prometheus, tells the story of Zeus, King of Zeus begins his day in talking to humans, hoping that they will still worship him as before, although Prometheus is certain that Zeus has corrupted him and plans to overthrow him for which he will need the help of three people the first is Yuri or simply eliminate the people living on CRE and one day is dissatisfied with her life a woman approaches her in front of a shop and from her whispers it is clear that it's Cassandra she laments not believing is prophecies and predicts that things will change for her by the end of the day meanwhile on Olympus Zeus notices something is wrong with the sacred turn of spring his wife Hera assures him that everything is fine Zeus then calls his son Dionys to come back at this time Dionys is partying at a club on earth but then wanders into town and is offered a watch by a food vendor as a symbol of time to his father Dionys decided to visit his father despite Hera's displeasure because his mother, whom Hera turned into a bee in a fit of rage, was mortal and Dionys only became a god through his father's death. Zeus attended the unveiling of his statue on CRE. His statue was one of a woman, sacrifices himself in the name of the gods when Dionysus gives him the watch Zeus does not show much enthusiasm as he already has a watch from Heracles however it is considered a lucky charm Zeus tries the gift but ignores his son begs for a more responsible role in governing the world angered by Hera's crude comments Dionysus steals Heracles watch and leaves Zeus is engrossed in unveiling the statue but when the veil falls it turns out the statue was destroyed and covered in feces with the words hell with the gods written on it, minus, the president of CRE screamed in rage and Zeus swore revenge. Although Hara offered Poseidon to solve the problem while Rid returned home where Oros was playing the guitar, but informed him that he planned to start the concert tonight at the palace. With a new song called after her she did not like the idea that he had made their relationship public against her will, but she has no strength to protest now or else the steward of Chorus will take her to Heraclean. On Mount Olympus, Zeus is furious at what he sees and suddenly notices a wrinkle on his forehead. He immediately teleports Prometheus, who assures the king of the gods that he cannot be destroyed, but is returning to his rock. Prometheus mocks Zeus' foolishness, while Dennis receives further advice from the shopkeeper to find his own purpose in life instead of living for his own sake. The father's approval in Heraclean Orus is preparing for the performance with the belief that Yuri will arrive soon, but goes to the temple of Hara to talk to Taka. Hera's mute servant, who was also his mother. Meanwhile, Orpheus begins his performance with a song explaining that Yuri is the love of his life at the temple confesses that she no longer loves him her mother cut out her tongue and abandoned her to serve Hera. However the gods are indifferent to her and she does not believe in prophecies. The crowd enjoys Orpheus' song as Dionys teleports to Heraclion to hear it. On the way from the temple, Rid sees Cassie again stopped in the middle of the road and is hit by a truck meanwhile. Taser reveals Rid's prophecy, shows that it matches Zeus' prophecy prophecy, although Prometheus asserts that no two prophecies can be the same. Orphe learns of his beloved's death when Cassandra and Taka witness her body being carried away some time later. Dionys attends the funeral and sees Dionys grieving. Orphe gives the priest a coin to place in her mouth so she can pay for her passage to the afterlife. Dionys realizes his purpose is to help Orus, but he gets drunk and buys a gun and goes to the beach with the intention of killing himself, but he accidentally shoots Dionys. Orus panics, but Dionys reveals that he is a god and is immune to injury. The voice of Prometheus reminds him that Zeus was not always a god, meaning he can be destroyed by mortals, while Rydie finds himself on a ferry in the black and white underworld ten years ago. The queen of the Amazons found and killed Kenneth, who had escaped from the underworld. As he is dying, he sees his mother, Marina, one of the killers. The present Orpheus wakes up after a wild night with Dee and hears her assurance that he can bring her back just as she is sailing down the river. He is trapped in the underworld watching Hades and Paney's introductory video of the framework one must swim through to be reborn. The guardians of the underworld are then summoned, of Zeus to increase the number of swimmers escorting the souls through the scene while Dennis demonstrates his power to Orpheus by manipulating the magical dock of Rid and the passengers are greeted by Master. With cur dogs one of the dogs barks at Rid, and her master Canis has pulled her out of the mainstream for the ten years he has been in this world Lyle is certain that he will remain the guide. However Medusa declares to move to the swimmer class, although he has not yet done so ask this. While he waits his mother, his partner, Pry is happy about that. 
especially when Medusa shows him one of her harmless snakes when they are dead, while Dennis takes Orus to a bar called the cave, where one can have a chance to enter the underworld. At the same time, Zeus comes down to Earth and wanders around the city, surprised by how happy and cheerful everyone seems. He summons Prometheus and confesses his fear of seeing his power weaken, believes that things must go back to the way they were the way people trembled before him to do this. He plans to destroy half of the world. Prometheus advises him not to do it. Meanwhile, R discovers that she was buried without the coin, which means she cannot get through the frame and refresh herself now she will stay in hell. Worked for 200 years before she finally got the chance to surpass Lethe at the same time Orpheus learned that the jury consisted of Moors, the fates that would judge the achievements of those seeking to bring back their loved ones on earth. In the first round, everyone had to mark all the salient features of their loved one's scars and birthmarks on the mannequin, while Medusa took the new divers to the Lethe River, where a bright scene awaited. They had to help. People swim there and attain rebirth. In the cave, Orus is confronted by a couple grieving over their child. The inconsolable parents perform a moving pantomime of their love for their son, or, feeling he cannot do better, is asked to sing of his beloved, but without a voice, he sits down at the lute at the same time. Reed reaches the river but cannot even dip into Lethe. Without his chess piece, Orpheus plays out and receives applause, but fate punishes him by stabbing his hand with a knife reveals that he took his wife's coin depriving them of their chance to renew Oros herself admits that he did it in love, but the public, including Diana, is repelled by his selfishness, so grieving parents Anatole and Ciel win the contest and enter the underworld on the banks of the Kennis River catches up with Ridey and confesses that he was also buried without a coin, which his mother took while Dinus begged fate, let's go to the underworld, they accepted. In exchange for Zeus's watch, Zeus also shared with Prometheus the project of telling stories about mortals in the style of the Trojan War to make them hate each other, then a great conflict would begin. But Prometheus reminded Zeus of the missing watch, which was his lucky charm. Zeus decided to find the watch again. The first Dionysus at this time gave fate on Earth. The long-standing rages wandering around dispensing justice, they are invisible to the innocent and only the convicted can see them today. They forced an unpunished criminal to commit suicide in the toilet of a roadside cafe, then moved on to their next target. This target was a woman named Ari, who accidentally strangled her twin brother in his sleep. Their mother never accepted his death. And now Master Dolly creates a sculpture of Glaucus every year depicts presenting his appearance on his birthday. A.R.'s father, president of M.O.S., promises to give his daughter anything she wants, even if she refuses a gift. Every year, Theus bodyguard surprises during the day. The president and his family gather for the Olympia Day celebration in C.R.E., where they witness the desecration of the statues of the gods and in which Theus played a role. Minus is furious. His wife is hysterical and Ari helps his mother return to her room meanwhile, on Olympus. Zeus suspects that one of the servants is responsible for the missing watch starting to kill them one by one. Hera shares this with Poseidon, explaining that Zeus is planning a two-stage destruction of humanity and asks the ocean god to find the cursed watch Prometheus, meanwhile, remembers that he killed Karen in bed but not before making her promise to help anyone who comes to him in the future with a mark, while fate has received the watch from Zeus allowing Orus to enter the underworld through a trash can. Orus joins Anatole, who is searching for his son. The two men enter the world of black and white analysis reluctantly talk to Orpheus when the latter commits an unforgivable act by taking the coin from his wife. But Orpheus justifies his actions with his love for humans agrees to travel together time Kenneth visits his dog. Photos frees him from the cage and the dog runs away meanwhile. Hades and Prepon discover that a soul has disappeared. They discuss how she can escape Penny fears that this is the beginning of something terrible that Hades asks him not to inform Zeus. Meanwhile, while searching for Photos, Kenneth comes across KNX, who begs him for help and informs him that he has swam through the frame, but someone calls Kenneth and NAX disappears later, at dinner. Ridey joins Kenneth and Prue informs that she has been named a swimmer. The girl does not understand why they continue to eat, sleep, and bathe while they are dead. They explain that it helps them, then feel normal. PR invites everyone to a party for new swimmers on Earth, next to Dionysus in the aquarium and accuses him of stealing Zeus's watch. Dionysus admits that he has sent a mortal to the underworld and that this mortal will be the first to bring someone back from the dead. Poseidon warns him that if that happens, Zeus will destroy them all. He orders Diana to return the watch. 
Meanwhile, in the underworld, Orus and Anatole prepare to cross the river, get involved when Karen approaches and reluctantly agrees to ferry them and at the same time Kenny's meets her assassin Hippo too on the shore for fear that he will turn his back on her. But she calls him a blasphemer and tells him that his mother is ready to abandon him. Dionys finds an exact replica of Zeus's watch in a shop inn. He proceeds to Mount Olympus, Zeus performs. Note the substitution in the underworld. Kinnis is tormented by the realization of his mother's betrayal, something he has been worried about for a long time. Suddenly, Karen stopped the boat and showed the men Sela, meaning only one of them now they could continue. Only a fight would decide who it would be. Orpheus attacked Anil at this time. Kinnis confesses to Arth that he is an Amazon, meaning he was born a girl, but he is then chased away and suddenly they hear KNX calling for help. During this time ANL is almost the master of Oros, but Karen intervenes when she sees the fateful mark on the musician's hand. He throws Anatole, board the ship and disappear into the trading center of Sela. Meanwhile, Zeus shares his plan for revenge on humanity with Dionysus then the two descend to Earth where Zeus thanks his son for returning the watch. He hopes for Diane's help in scaring humans away from natural disasters. Idea. But Zeus reminds him that humans are not important at the moment Hades receives a message that they will soon expect a new influx of souls shortly afterwards he is informed that the missing soul has been found. Karen and Orpheus arrive at the shore where a message of gratitude from Prometheus is written as Rid and Kinnis. Witnessed KNX being cornered in the dungeon, they followed closely and discovered the empty shells of all souls that had passed through the frame including the souls they had sent through there before. That morning it was time for Prometheus to explain everything. Turned out Zeus had punished him for standing against him before his imprisonment. Prometheus was visited by the Lady of Fate, who asked the hero to kill the only person who trusted him without asking Karen. Moreover, he needed to gain Zeus' trust in submitting to his punishment and accepting his fate. Prometheus did everything and it was successful in the meantime. The angry ones isolated Ari in a hotel where she explained that she did not want to kill her brother. However, the angry did not come to punish her, but to show her the truth. Poseidon came to her, father and reminds him of the prophecy that he will die at the hands of his firstborn Ari refuses to accept the truth even when she sees Minus handing the baby to Deus, ordering him to kill the child. The girl does not believe it even when the rage reminds her of the massacre of Troy she returns to the palace, but remains silent about everything she has learned MOS is happiness, that she is safe. But Ari now questions all that her father told her that night. She went to see Deus, who was forced to admit that despite his father's orders, he did not kill Glaucus, and the boy was still imprisoned in the dungeon. However, he had long since lost his human form and turned into a minor. While Zeus and Dionysus watched the news reporting various natural disasters, for the greatest pleasure of God, Zeus then went to Hera's baths, where she kept the prayers and petitions of her worshippers. He accidentally heard her deceiving him in search of the truth. He tortured one of his takas, but she refused to betray and died when she discovered her. The goddess demanded to see the language he had learned about her infidelity, but Zeus could not find her among the millions of others and fell for her assurances that she was not plotting anything against him. Appeasing Zeus and letting him stay in bed, Hera mourned the death of her loyal aunt. Meanwhile, Rid and Kinnis continue their search for KNX, but find that it has been found by Hades who personally removed Nax's soul for some reason. This causes great pain and forces the pair to return to the surface where they are discovered by Medusa Rydie does not understand why Canis feels nothing and says goodbye to him. Oros wakes up on a deserted shore. At the same time, Dionysus enters the cave and learns that Oros has successfully passed the stick Karen refuses a cup of water from. Orpheus and reminds him that the final test awaits him, which he will face alone, clearing any doubts about what Hades did to NAX. He goes to Canis and reveals to him that his mother became quiet when she was five years old. Riddy never accepted this and cursed the gods every night. Perhaps that was why it hurt him so much. Kenis then told his story in their tribe. Boys who came of age had to leave the Amazon territory forever under threat of execution. Can's best friend also left, but soon returned, confessing that he wanted to ask to be accepted into the tribe. Canis reminded him of the danger and asked him to leave that very day. Witness the night the boy was killed, his mother confessed that she had known all along about his rebirth since her prophecy had immediately predicted the birth of a boy that was why she was so happy when a girl was born. But alas you can't fool the gods. 
So Kanis hated the gods also realized that they felt the same the girl kissed him while Oros continued through the desert thirsty and hot urged Hades to tell the truth with Zeus about the intermediate world. Cannot hold too many souls, which could cause its downfall. Zeus meets Prometheus again, who realizes that the problem is not with mortals and decides to destroy the fates that are the source of his prophecy. But Prometheus warns Zeus that he could destroy the entire world including himself, and gives the example of Minos, who lived in defiance of his prophecy. However, Zeus reminds him that Glaucus could escape and kill Minos at any moment. He then suggests that if the father kills the son, it would disprove the prophecy and create a rival, while Rid and Kinnis discover that they share the same prophecy. Rydie recalls his encounter with Cassandra and realizes that the talk of the rebirth of the past is a lie. Humans dedicate their lives to the gods, hoping for a better life, but in reality, their souls turn into meander water, which the gods drink to simultaneously attain immortality. Hades and his comrades go to Zeus and publicly expose the instability of the transitional world, which is about to lead to disaster if souls stop returning to Earth, they will flee in rage. Zeus pushes Hades off a cliff and strikes him with lightning. When Oros tries to cross the burning desert, he begins to hallucinate and eat sand, mistaking it for water. He discovers Hades is alive and vows to destroy Zeus. Zeus orders Poseidon to create Minos. Killed his son, the god of the ocean went to fate, and they said that sometimes a person can defy the prophecies Hera asked her husband not to be like his father, Cronies. It turned out that he was a real tyrant. And when Zeus got tired of tolerating him, he killed his father, although he never understood how he could do that. That's when the frame was created, this collected the souls instead of reviving them. Poseidon and Hera ordered Minos kill his son, and if he refuses then Ari will be subjected to torture while Orpheus meets a man near a water cooler the man gives him water, but if Oros drinks it, will not be able to bring his wife back even though is dehydrated and about to die. Oros chooses not to drink the water, proving is the final test after passing it he sees a door appear leading him to the town. The first thing the man does is rush to the water tap where PR and her partner when he learns he is Ars husband volunteer to give he goes to her house while Oros kisses her before Kanis she doesn't know how to tell him. The truth about her feelings on earth learns that Oros has passed all trials Dionysus goes to Poseidon for advice, but finds him in a compromising situation with Hera. While Medusa informs Karen that the man with Mark has gone to the underworld, meaning Prometheus was telling the truth. Marina stepped out of the trailer to see Rit's mother holding a sign that read, Today is the day the woman quietly went to a pre dug grave, lay down, put a coin in her mouth, and pressed the trigger of her weapon. At that time, Oros apologized to Arf for taking her coin and preventing its renewal, but he did it in the name of love, and now he had come to bring her back to life. However, Rid does not want to return to him, it is time to talk to Hades, but Medusa first tells Rid that they are waiting for him, hoping will change the power. Meanwhile Zeus has a family dinner while watching M.O.S. killing his son. Dios explains to Ari how Glaucus became the boy that the boy spent all day in the dark, often alone. The guards were not allowed to talk to him, and he eventually went mad and became more of a beast than a child. Started attacking the prison guards, which gave M.O.S. the idea to turn his son into some kind of weapon. Deus made him a mask and horns, and now criminals are being fed to him. However, he treats Deus more gently the others hear this Ari asks to be taken to his brother. While Kenya tries to convince Rid to leave with Orpheus and reveal the truth about the underworld people while Medusa leads Oros to Hades, who refuses to let the couple return to Earth despite S desire to replace his wife and stay there instead of her. Medusa is very disappointed with the outcome shows her disapproval for bringing a dead man resurrecting cannot be ignored by Zeus. However, Hades declares that certain things must remain the same and that he will find a way to restore them. Souls are convinced of his rightness penny acts behind Hades back to bring R and Orpheus back to Earth. Meanwhile escorts Ari to the miner's dungeon however, Minus has just freed Glaucus. From the cell to kill him with Hera's knife realizes that Daedalus is trying to lead Ari returns. But Glaucus attacks and kills him while the woman tries to escape Minus goes down the labyrinth while Ari is cornered by Glaucus. The girl talks to him and the beast refuses to attack him. Ari takes off his mask, horrified at what his father has done to his son. 
At that moment, Minus appears and after a short battle, kills Glaucus to the delight of Zeus and the other gods. Meanwhile, Medusa tells Rid that the bowels of the underworld are called the Void, and although she does not know exactly what is happening to the souls, Rid can prevent it by revealing everything to those she leads to Paini, where Orus is already waiting for him. M.O.S. explains to his daughter that he has done everything to protect his family, but it is at this moment that Ari realizes that his father has misunderstood the prophecy when Glaucus was born first. He is not breathing, but Ari immediately screams, explaining this to her father. She kills M.O.S. with the same knife he used to kill her. Zeus' brother faints from shock. He then wakes up and realizes that Minus is dead. His prophecy has come true, and he must stop his own prophecy before it is too late. Meanwhile, Pania discovers that Hades has disappeared. Herod requests their presence on Olympus. Meanwhile, Hades tells Medusa about his plan to restore the underworld to Earth. Zeus goes to Moses' cave, where they explain that for his prophecy to come true, he must believe in it. However, Zeus intends to kill them. The Moors not only accept their fate, but also help Zeus kill them. They douse themselves in flammable liquid while Zeus strikes a match before dying. They return Zeus' watch, confesses that they received it from Dennis. The cave burns to the ground, shocking Prometheus meanwhile before returning to Earth. Rid confesses to Orus that she fell in love. Kenna, she explains that the play had nothing to do with it. She had intended to leave him already because she was unhappy, and she died anyway. They still have a chance to start over, and so they continue their Kena journey. Rushes to the frame to try to stop another person from crossing the border and unexpectedly sees his mother at the same time Hades goes into nothingness and tries to restore Nax's soul. But to no avail Avakinas accuses Marina of treason. But she insists that she only brought Amazon to him to fulfill her prophecy. She waited 10 years and was now came to guide him through the frame. Kenya reveals that the gods have deceived them, and no one returns to Earth. However, Marina enters the Lacus dives after her and suddenly begins to sink. He catches up with his mother and both disappear from the frame. Prometheus does not understand what is happening as the prophecy has not been fulfilled and he has not yet been freed. Meanwhile, Zeus returns home and distributes the meander water to his family. Diana's bottle is half full and Prini receives nothing, as Meander's consumption will now depend on their obedience. Also announces that he has destroyed the fates and thus all prophecies. Dien is forced to admit that he gave the watch to the fates so that a mortal could bring his wife back from the dead. However, Penny disputes this, revealing that Orus died in punishment for disobeying. Zeus kills Darius' beloved kitten, and he also stings Hera's bees. Declares that he will not keep the mother of her children as a slave suddenly, Poseidon confesses that he loves Hera and asks her to leave with him. But she mocks him however, Zeus pours out Poseidon's water and banishes him. Zeus then declares that from now on he will rule not only Krite, but also the underworld and everything else. He goes to Prometheus to discuss what happened, but as soon as Prometheus explains that he never betrayed Zeus, he suddenly disappears meanwhile. Ari drags Glaucus's body back to the palace, and he tells the whole truth his mother weeps in approval his actions have gotten rid of him, and Orpheus succeeds in returning to Earth to the surprise of Orpheus the cave is gone, but his car remains, he offers to drive to clean up the city, but she refuses or apologizes for it, for keeping his coin, but she thanks him for giving her back her life and hugs him goodbye near Heraclean Rydie meets Cassandra tells him that she is now also became a prophet. She orders to escape to find and free the living while Canis will do the same to the dead. Meanwhile, in the Canis nothingness, his soul recovers. He wakes up next to his mother who opened her eyes with chaotic words on Prometheus' lips find himself on Olympus, where he was awaited by the invisible fates who explained to him that they could not be killed, and according to the prophecy he had now granted the freedom Zeus found Prometheus on the throne despite all his efforts, but could not bring him back to the rock. Moreover, he suddenly noticed a cut on his hand despite the fact that gods do not bleed the bend stopped flowing, meaning Zeus was no longer a god. Hera calls someone from a phone booth and orders them to assemble a team and prepare a free bed and secretly embark on the journey Hades asks how this is possible. Who can restore the human soul Prometheus warns Zeus of the approach of Kaios Ari meets Andromache to discuss the restoration of Troy and the destruction of Olympus Dionys looks into his half-full bottle. 
Chaos is the best show of August, is especially for those who are fascinated by Greek mythology. This is a unique and vivid recreation of ancient Greek mythology where the heroes of ancient legends are brought into the modern world. The ending leaves a feeling of incompleteness allowing hope for a continuation. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a comment about your favorite movie, and we will make it next. Thanks for watching.